hello guys and welcome to another exciting video on this channel now what if you could convert this image into this and this and this or this image into this and this and this and that is what I'm going to show you in this video because what I'm going to share here in this video is going to help you create these and a lot more so make sure that you watch the video till the end Now much by Amazon has recently launched these phone cases for Samsung and for iPhone and after looking at the templates you can easily see that these phone cases are actually all over print products which means that you can use repeating patterns, you can use any kind of artwork, abstract artwork, you can use your photographic artwork on these phone cases. Now I have created some templates which can help you create these repeating patterns these you can say that edgeless or you can say that uh, without any kind of boundaries of your artwork and I'll show you everything in details in a moment so these repeating patterns are not going to help you only create these phone cases or the print files for these phone cases they are also going to create you any kind of all over print product through Redbubble, maybe through Teespring, maybe through uh, TeePublic on Zazzle, or maybe you can upload it on Printful as well. So let me show you the templates. So after downloading those templates, you will get these four different folders plus a basic video guide on how you can use these templates and also a detailed video, which is actually this video that uh, you are actually watching. So inside this, uh, the inside these folders there are actually two types of templates the edge patterns and the seamless patterns now with these seamless pattern templates the patterns that you create will be totally seamless you will not find any kind of or you can say that you will not see any kind of boundaries or the visible edges but in the edge pattern templates there will be slightly visible edges but on the whole if you look at the big picture on the whole everything every template every pattern will be tileable now let's open up one of the templates from the seamless patterns let's just open up this honeycomb pattern so this is the preview of what you can get from the templates so inside this template in the layers panel you will find a group that you don't have to worry about anything but the, what we are, need to focus on is this the bottom layer that is added this layer so before I go into editing this and creating these templates we need to load up a Photoshop action that I have provided in these templates so for that purpose go to windows and then actions a new panel will open there might be an idea or default action but i have just cleared it for the sake of this tutorial or either for the sake of this video so you can load that action by going into these bars and then load action or you can simply drag and drop the action here so once the action is loaded let's get started with editing these templates to create some amazing patterns so i'll double click this edit this icon and a new window will open now we need to place our image inside this above this delete this layer and inside this folder so let's open up the image that i have shown you at the beginning of the video so you can drag this image place it inside this template and you can resize it if you want and uh, you know place it at the appropriate position and uh, anything that you would like to you can rotate it you can position anything that you want just fit it inside this template and after you know you can hide this bottom layer delete this layer we are not going to delete it just hide it so press ctrl s or command s save it and your amazing pattern will create let's hide these guides so by pressing ctrl s or command s so you can see that you get an amazing beautiful pattern now it looks kind of washed out and let me show you how can you can fix that as well we can either you know fix it here and we can also uh, fix it inside this uh, inside this vector smart object but let's fix it here so let's go into the layer and create a huge saturation layer and let's increase the saturation a bit maybe lightness a bit and best thing here of this, uh, this these templates is that you can easily change the colors by changing the hue of these products so you know create a variation from these patterns and uh, anything that you like now there is there are no uh, not many colors in this pattern but we if there have been pattern more colors we can easily create so 
you can easily see that with a simple adjustment layer we have you know removed that washed out look and created a vibrant pattern from this thing now once you are satisfied with your pattern with your pattern tile you can go do the action and let me show, let me show you why you need to apply the action you are not done here right? so if i zoom in here you can easily see that in these dark areas these uh, kind of white dotted pixels which are kind of imperfections in the in some of the patterns not all of these patterns in some of these patterns in dark areas there will be this imperfection and we need to fix those things so let's zoom out and we need to apply this action but before i apply this action i need to make sure that none of the layers are selected it is highly recommended that you make sure that none of these layers are selected so i'll select this finalize pattern play the action and we are going to go it creates a perfect without any kind of imperfections a perfect pattern file which we can save it as a jpeg as a png image and also in addition to that it also save this pattern in the pattern swatches or inside this photoshop document which you can use to create you know template a print file templates for different products for redbubble for teespring and for much by amazon as well and hopefully in the future much by amazon will introduce more all over print products so this template is going to help you in creating those print files as well and let me show you how uh, uh, by creating the print file for the phone cases for much by amazon so let's open up the psd template that they have provided so i have opened up the psd phone case template that they have provided and at the top in the green layer artwork added this smart objects i'll double click it and this new artwork page open save and my window will open now as i already said that this action has already created a pattern swatch inside this photoshop you just need to go to the adjustment layers and create a new pattern fill layer and voila you have seen that it has created the pattern and it just filled all of the artwork with that pattern so let's bring it below this below the guides actually above the guides and uh, you can easily see adjust the position of and this is completely seamless completely repeating pattern you can easily adjust the position of these things and also in addition to that you can scale it down you know to create more a different kind of look and uh, i will just stick with the 100% look so this is what it uh, how easily you can create these patterns and in addition to that you can also add, apply adjustment layers hue saturation layers any kind of filter that you would like to apply to these layers and you will get an amazing pattern now let me show you in on the mockups of these phone cases so i'll press press ctrl s it will take some time to process this thing once it's done you can easily see that how vibrant and different color phone cases you can get from these things and you can use it with not only these artwork type of images that i have just shown you these type of images you can use it for any type of images for photographic image for your abstract lines art anything that you have anything that photoshop can open you can use that that file that thing to create these amazing patterns and we are not done here yet let me show you another amazing feature of these templates let's open up another template from this seamless patterns folder and i'm going to up, uh, open up uh, you can say that a uh, squared variable template let's hide the guides now in this template you can see that there is a base folder and there is a, there are other few folders that is v1 v2 v3 and v4 these mean these are the versions from 1 to 4 and uh, i'll show you what that means so let's add this here and let's place the same image here inside this and let's scale it down a bit i think that is better maybe move it slightly here i think that's better let's save it our pattern is created another amazing another beautiful pattern is created but the best thing here is that in addition to this basic pattern you can choose variations of this pattern by unhiding these versions so let's unhide the version one you get a new pattern hide this create a new pattern by creating a version 2 let's hide this create a new one with the version 3 so you can see that you can easily create slight variation from a single image from a single image from a single template file 
and I'm gonna create different variation from these things and in addition to that I as you can uh, already you can guess that you can rotate the image to create a different version of these things you know just rotate it a bit save it and the whole pattern file the whole template will be updated with this new thing I create different version create a different you know look of these patterns and as I already said you can apply different filters different things and the whole thing will be and the you know you will get a different version different you can see a unique pattern every time that you uh, you know make some changes in these things uh, maybe moving rotating and you will get something amazing patterns now let me show you another thing so in these templates you will get a main file that is done for example this honeycomb template or let me uh, show you this one this scared variable template and for some of the templates i have created small versions as well so scared small variable small versions and why have come created a small version is because that sometimes you don't have those large size images so you know maybe 12 16 megapixel images you just have small size images so you might find some amazing image and maybe some of the previous images that you might have broken some of the you know old phones or something like that so those uh, this small pattern template these are the same thing you know square variable template and square variable small these they are the same templates but the only thing different is that this square variable template is going to give you a 2000 um, maximum pixel size of the pattern and the square variable small or anything that has the word small in it is going to give you a small pattern file that is the 1000 pixel file so that these are I will provide just in case that you have any, any image that you want but you do not have that image in a large size now don't stop here let me show you another amazing feature of this kit the another amazing feature of this kit is that it does not only work in Photoshop, it also works in Affinity Photo. So let me show you how you can use it inside Affinity Photo. So I'll open up the Affinity Photo. So before I open up any of the template files, let's go to the document and then actually not the document, I will go to the edit and then preferences and in the general uh, section, you need to make sure that this option is checked import PSD smart objects where possible make sure that it is checked it is tick marked and let's close it now let's up any of the pattern template so once the template is opened you can see at the bottom of this layer or in the layers panel at the bottom there is an edit here or edit this layer this will be you can just double click it it will open up a new window where you can place your image so let's place a new image that is shown as it's shown you at this and you know at the beginning of this video let's place that image and let's place that image here so once i place the image inside this uh, embedded document i will go to the move tool or you can press the shortcut v and select that layer at the top because the image will be placed at the top and you know just click on this small rectangle uh, triangle it will unhide these the layers inside it and you need to bring that top layer the image layer inside this thing inside this mask let's hide this layer that is the basic thing let's move select this layer the image the new image that you have just imported and bring it inside it and again you can scale it down let's scale it down a bit because these images are too large you know I can rotate it a bit if I want to or just keep it here you know and now you don't have to save it it will be automatically updated in the main pattern window so you can see that you have created an amazing pattern and again this is the, this you are not limited to this you again apply different kind of filters go to the effects and you can apply different kind of filters let's uh, apply any kind of you know uh, filter gradient overlays and adjustment layers we can apply hue saturation layers and change the saturation of this thing and actually I think we need to go back into the layer and we need to shift it at the top you know and then we need to apply the saturation and change the colors as we like so easily you can see that how you can easily change the colors of this pattern create variation of these things let's close it and uh, let's just delete this addition layer because I don't want to you know uh, have this look so let's just delete the additional layer and let's stick with the basic thing now again you if you zoom in you will be able to see that there are certain imperfections these dotted lines 
and we need to fix that but when we have applied you can say that a photoshop action in photoshop and again inside this affinity photo i have provided an action which is not called an action it's called a macro so let's apply that macro on the for these templates so i'll go to the view studio and macro inside this macro you need to import that macro file this macro file that is provided in this affinity photo macro folder so i'll press import and select that macro file once that macro file is loaded and uh, you are satisfied with the placement of your image you are satisfied with the, your pattern you just need to play image you don't in this um, you don't have to worry about if any of the layer is selected you just have to play it and it has created an additional layer which is a perfect pattern without any kind of imperfections and you have got a perfect pattern uh, you can say that file a pattern image that you can export it as a PNG as a JPEG and upload it on anything uh, any of the platform print on demand platforms to create all of our print products and also let me show you how you can use this pattern this thing inside affinity photo to create those phone cases template that I've just shown you for much by Amazon so let's open up that phone cases PSD template inside affinity photo so once the template is open again you have this layer that is artwork added this smart object we'll double click this one and inside we can you know uh, get uh, that image uh, that get that pattern image that we just created but before we need to export this image as a png or a jpeg file so let's go to a file and export i'll just export it as a png image now inside this let's create a you can say the rectangular shape that is going to cover the complete thing complete image complete area of this template and we need to go to the this gradient fill tool or gradient tool in, in the type we need to select that we need to select bitmap and then we are going to select that png image that we have just exported and it is imported inside this template now again you need to make sure that at the top this minimal fill maintain aspect fill aspect ratio is checked it is highly recommended that it is checked and the extend option is wrap so we can scale it down and in addition to scaling it down we can rotate it a bit as well you know just make some changes rotate it a bit as you would like again you can export it as a png image and upload it on much of amazon and if you have going to upload it on any other platform you can upload it on that platform as well and let me show you uh, that it actually works it actually works great on redbubble and on printful so let's open up the redbubble first so just drag and drop that pattern file inside this redbubble you know uploader once it is finished uploaded i'll show you how you can use these patterns amazingly on all of the all of our print products so it has a finished uploading let's uh, apply it on these floor pillows maybe and you can easily come here and choose a pattern style regular grid pattern and it is you know just easy to you know design different products let's uh, design shower curtains and uh, again choose that pattern fill layer regular grid pattern fill layer you have easily created design panel there and all of different products that uh, they have the option to you know uh, you know for example these masks the option to you know have that get all our print you know what i mean again let's now let me show you that it actually works on printful as well so i'll go to the printful and this in this mock-up generator and uh, let's uh, select any kind of the all our print products let's uh, you know let's go to the uh, i think woman clothing and uh, maybe get this uh, all over print shirts no not all of print dresses there must be an all over print dresses here yeah. for example this dress and uh, let's like this one let's drag and drop that product here uh, that image here so it is already applied on the top let's decrease the size and change the option make pattern and we need to select this simple block pattern again we need to decrease the size maybe and upload it on the you know uh, top front 
it has said that we recommend using a larger image but that is not really necessary because it is already you can say that a 300 dpi image and it is also also a repeating pattern you know we can scale it down a bit to create more variations you know and you know to have more look um, you can say uh, uh, overview look or maybe broad look of this pattern and let's apply it on the front as well again we need to make it into a pattern because this is a pattern file and we can scale it down a bit if it gives you an error we recommend using a larger uh, image size you can you know download these templates uh, apply uh, these pattern inside the photoshop or affinity photo to get a perfect sized pattern file uh, but for the moment uh, for the purpose of this video uh, let's stick to this uh, you know mockup generator and let's create a mockup now you can see that we have got this amazing dress amazing beautiful pattern floral pattern dress and again it doesn't have to be look the same you can make the top look a little bit different from the um, from the bottom by you know, applying the hue saturation layer on the print files creating a different pattern version of this thing and you will get a unique different uh, you can say that version of the same pattern in a different color so you can easily see that you can use these patterns on all of our print products or for all of the different you know platforms that have the option you know to have um, you know that actually produce these all of our print products now there are over 30 different templates in uh, collectively including these seamless patterns and also these edge patterns there are over 30 different patterns and as i've already shown you inside these templates and uh, some of these templates there are different variations of the same pattern that you have so there are more than 30 different variation different patterns that you can get from these templates and it took me about two months to create these templates to to perfect these templates and uh, you can easily see eh, that it is uh, not easy to create these templates it is a lot of time consuming and for that purpose i have just placed these uh, templates for uh, at a price of just 20 dollars and you can get all of these templates full templates uh, along with these actions that you can use with photoshop and infinity photo just for 20 dollars there is no recurring you can say that the subscription cost just a one time cost of $20 and you are good to go for the rest of your life also in addition to that full version of these templates I am providing some of these templates as a free to download for, uh, for uh, you know subscriber of this video for the viewers of this video and you can find the link in, uh, in the description below for the full version and also for the free version as well you can use this free version test out these templates and if you like that make uh, you can buy the full version just for $20 one time payment no restriction no continuous payment nothing at all just one time payment and you own it for the rest of your life and one more thing I have actually decided to release these templates uh, for free for one month the full version the full version all of these templates for one month if I reach the 1000 subscribers on this channel so if you do are you know if you cannot buy these templates currently make sure that you subscribe to this channel and as soon as I have reached the 1000 subscribers mark on this channel I will release the full version the full kit uh, free of cost for one month and I will notify that uh, you, uh, uh, as soon as I have reached the 1000 uh, subscriber and that is why you should press that bell icon so that you can be notified about my future videos because I will be making this announcement through a video as soon as I have reached to, uh, the 1000 subscriber limit because this channel this YouTube channel is currently not monetized and you can easily you can guess that it is not monetary you can say beneficial to provide these templates a lot of work has gone into creating these templates so if you um, you know consider uh, supporting this channel make sure that you at least subscribe to this channel and press that bell icon or if you want to buy these templates you can simply go in, uh, to the link that i provided in the description below and buy the full version and, and uh, support this channel and hopefully you have you're going to find these templates useful and a lot of helpful in creating your print and demand products for different uh, platforms if so make sure that you like the video and share it with other people as well and thanks a lot for watching and if you have any questions anything at all you can ask me in the comments below or you can join my facebook group and the link is provided in the description below and i'll try to answer these questions 
and let's get creating amazing products using these templates thank you for watching